a tech map guide on Clubhouse. Clubhouse is a map that can be attacker and defender sided, depended on a ban phase. It is more considered as a defender sided map because one major reason. You require two hard breachers, therefore you have less flexibility. You cannot pick your great lion and okabi combo paired up with the jackal, or can you? Anyway, let's go immediately on the video. Oh and I'm hosting a 40 years tournament this April on 2020. More information in the description. When attacking church and solo queue part, patrons and members saw a similar but a bit different duo queue shot in the clubhouse, but you can attack church and arsenal in two ways when solo queue. Either with Grilllock and push yourself in the blue, using one smoke grenade to allow yourself push deeper into the blue, and the other one to advance either in the arsenal or the church. And the second way would be to push with the Maverick through the dirt, using the torch to go silently through the dirt, if there are barred wires, and if the door is barricaded. Before all this, joining is mandatory. There is one, and only one way to consistently attack this, which is with a systematical room clear. However, you have two choices when it comes to the roam clearing. You can start off from the garage and cache, or from the jacuzzi and strip. Either way, having drones on the positions to clear out the whole second floor immediately and strip is recommended. As already stated, having two hard breachers is recommended, but for the baseband push you will definitely need Thatcher if Kite was left unbanned. 2 MP2 times the hatch you want to open, and you will most likely want Buck, that's already four fixed operators. Buck will be extremely good when you clear out the roamers. However, Buck will be awesome when dealing with the roamers, especially against any heavy top floor hold, such as SSG. Buck can make new ways to enter in a room, like if you don't want to tunnel yourself for the cache, open up the side walls of it. When you're clearing roamers, consider to always pinch roamers and as much deny rotation. For example, by repelling or being prone on the roof of the garage, you can close the rotation between the cache and the gym construction hatch, or by opening the main stairs window you disallow any defender going back to the side or reverse. There are too many if cases, talking exactly how to do a room clear was done in a video, make sure to check the description. Once you have done that, you will start opening all three hatches, where the kitchen and bar hatch are more important than the stock hatch. Before opening the hatch, make sure to open vertical holes from the stage, kitchen's hallway and kitchen, as shown in the vertical destruction video. Important, it is highly recommended to open the vertical holes as shown in the video, that way you cannot be C4 and you will most likely clear everything smoothly. The reason you need to do vertical pressure before the opening hatch is because of the impact tricking, proving impacts for these two small holes to the strip placed, X arrows and or exit army charges. Then you get all three hatches open and if you have at least 45 seconds left, if you are very low on the time, such as 10 to 15 seconds, you will have to drop the hatch. You will be aiming to open up the church trip of all the termite. Impact tricking is a real here once again, using a flashbang, frag grenade or whatever to stop the impact tricker is recommended. Impact trick can be done above the wall. Now we will have to pick which wall to open, far left or the far right. Both are correct, depending on what your team wants. Do you want to get deeper angle onto the church and clear out most of the church from the main stairs, but be exposed from the blue? Or would you want to have a safer but crouched path to the church, but the majority of the church is still playable for defenders? Or you can have both. I said crouch because if you stand still, there is an angle from the arsenal all the way to you. Ideally, if you have 5 attackers alive, and you usually will, because most of the time the basement is played as a 5 man anchor, as defenders you'll want to do pressure from the blue, or just force them to be worrying about the blue as well. Blue, bullet and mellow hole can be very troublesome to fight against. Two default playing spots are both by the triple walls, the one closer to the hole that can be smoked off from the spoke, for the wall, so have that in mind. If you can get the control of the blue, you have won the round. Do not push arsenal from blue, keep blue control for yourself and you have won the round. The second objective that will be attacking is TCN cache and for that two hard breachers and frags or capito will be recommended. However, let's talk about the solo key part and I will say Ying. Ying can be a bit more complex operator, however she can herself get the control of the cache stairs even if there is an ADS. 
Depending on where the ADS is, you can throw over the fence or on the side of the fence and either way, you'll flash the guy on the top of the stairs. Now during your climb, repeat the candela and leave the last one for the rotation between the stairs and the cache. For this tech part, there are two kinds of pushes and for them, both Capitao or frag grenades are must. And not just recommended. Let's talk about the CC push first and it's heavily recommended to have Hibana and Maverick here. You want to do this all with the following pattern. Maverick opens up the cache wall and it is explained how to in a Maverick guide video. Even a pro league match example was given. Open up the wall between the CC and the cache with the Hibana. The one closer to the bridge, the further one usually has rotation. And get the control of the garage. Once you have done all this, planned by the default. But let's go back with a bit more details on why exactly this pattern. Opening the wall with the Maverick and using Hibana to destroy the reinforced wall is done because then any player by the catwalk, 1, 2, 3 or window can be picked up from the bridge if they are standing or even crouching. So they are forced to be prone. If you have this open and a player dedicated by the bridge covering that angle, then to open garage you are not required to have here a hole as you'll usually see. However, opening with the Maverick or Hibana crouch wall on the other garage wall is a must. That is where your frag grenade, Maverick let's say, or Capito will enter and burn anyone by the catfall to the ground. Yes, ADS can stop you, so Tatcher or Flashbang can do the trick. Back to the garage to CC wall. It can be impact trick from the cache. When you have all that in control, you don't need to smoke anything but just go to default and plant. During that, have someone having the breach angle, isolating CC from the cache and its stairs. You'll most likely try to be C4 from the cache or even from below, so consider these factors. Losing one man over a plant is okay, because in the post play situation, you win. Let's attack from Jacuzzi and Termite will be recommended here, to open up the Jacuzzi wall if reinforced and the construction to cache walls. You'll most likely be granted all the way up to the construction for free, but the hard part starts from pushing away defenders from the cache, top cache stairs and CC. Being on the CC windows won't do a lot, and if something your player is easily pre-fireable from the CC. There are three places to be in the cache. One, two and three. As well as two places to be in the top of the cache stairs. One and two. And a place to be in a CC to deny the construction push over here. And you will be pushing mostly from one way. However, if you manage to open the, up the construction wall which is bandit trickable, impact trickable or even shootable from below the hatch, you will clear out the whole cache positions. But there are still left three very hard angles to fight against and a vertical play. So a pair of smoke grenades will be recommended. You can also try to open the default CC wall. I forgot to mention an angle from the garage's catwalk to cache doors. If you can for this attack, Maintaining vertical presence will do a lot of the job and put pressure on the care stairs person. I forgot to mention how to deal with the bandit trigger by the CC wall if you are playing with Termite and no Maverick. Maverick was banned, let's say. The best way is to get inside of the storage and with the Zofia, two times impact the floor below the two walls at the time your Termite is placing the charge. If bandit is bandit tricking, he will die. When attacking gym and bedroom, you will want to have the office hatch open, even if you're not putting the pressure on it. Just open it with the back or sledge. We'll have two attacks over here, but before that, how will I approach as a solo queue here? As Hibana, I will open up the office hatch with the breaching charges and the case of barricades for your team with the Xeras to get the jacuzzi wall opened. And I will push for the office and I have picked Hibana because you will be able to do several things from here. Get in the gym push in the construction or push main stair jacuzzi wall. The other way is to go with the cabby and push for the main stairs, going for the barbed wires when you call them. Let's talk about the stack part, and the first one is opening jacuzzi wall. If you have Maverick, it is done. If you don't, you will need to contest Bandit with the Zofia through the drunk hole or through the gym's window, but then be aware of the CC window as well as the garage south wall's angle. You're pretty much exposed from there, so maybe getting there when your termite is about to open the wall is the way. Also, if there is a case of barricade, expect defenders that will have at least one, if not two ADSs covering it, and a deployable shield for a bandit. Once you open that the jacuzzi wall, smart team will now reinforce the other toilet wall, and you will have to open that wall as well, because going in the gym will be a dense sentence. Defenders still can play in the gym behind the mattress. 
that wall will be a bit easier to open because you will be able to throw thermobolts above the wall. When you get that, the execution is ready. You will be able to plant in the gym with having a person either vaulted in the gym from the gym's window, watching the construction, or someone by the construction window. Your planter should be aligned with the mattress, so he cannot be picked up from the construction. And since you are in the control of the toilet, your planter cannot be picked up from the bedroom. The other attack will be the cash attack, where most likely the CC will be given for free as well as the garage. If they are not, consider doing the gym push. Now once you open the CC wall, make sure to have someone covering the construction rotation, so no one goes in or out, and obviously, don't forget to open the office hatch. And again, once you open the CC wall, put the side walls of the cache, if they are soft. And if not, use thermite charge on it, and blow it out. That will be probably the only wall you will be opening if they are heavily holding CC, so you will have to open it either way. Once you have done it, you most likely get trailed or killed all defenders there. However, there are plenty of angles against you, from construction bedroom as well as from the offices. So this is now the time to pull them from the office hatch, as well as from the cache, with obviously joining out construction. That area is very unsafe for defenders now. When you get the office control, open up the wall between office and bedroom, and you have two options to push one person in the toilet, and most likely one around jacuzzi wall, which should be vulnerable. Having one person in the office watching bedroom is always recommended plant on the bed, because if there are C4s from below, they won't be able to get your planter. And also, for the buff attacks, open up the main stairs window. And for a final attack, which is bar and stock, and that you will probably never attack. However, the main idea here is to get the control of the garage with a similar or the same fashion as when we were attacking CC and cache. Open up the angle from the garage to the line, then clear out cache stairs and cache and CC. That will be done easier than before, because there has to be defenders defending bar push, so they will lack of utility and manpower to hold garage or cash. But either way, you should get to top floor control easier. Once you start with that control, and due to the angle from the garage to the lounge, you will be able to push your way in the stock and the plant is very safe, especially if you have a pair of smoke grenade. If they have a mirror window or something that is not holding you to plant, such as someone in the stage, opening up the main doors does the trick. For the main doors, all what you have to do is flash that place, and you can start the plant. For the solo key part, maybe pushing for the strip is recommended. So, pushing as a team shouldn't be an issue. Thank you for watching this video and staying with me for this long, and thanks all the patrons and YouTube members for making this video available. If you want to learn all the basics and advanced things about the siege, make sure to give me a like, subscribe and click the notification bell to get all notifications from my channel. Make sure to give me feedback down in the comment section below.